Welcome back to the MSU Federal Credit Union Coaches Show. When Michigan State takes the ice tonight, freshman Trey Augustine is expected to get the start in net. The South Lion native had a huge couple of months prior to arriving in East Lansing this summer. He is one of the more highly touted freshmen in the country, and we had a chance to chat with him this week about his past, present, and future. From your bets, he's saving another stop from Augustine. Shot up high on Augustine for Kupalainen and Augustine. Gets on top of this for the whistle. So we'll start with, with the summer you had. It was quite a good one. First you win gold with the under 18 team USA team in Switzerland. What was that experience like for you? Yeah, I mean it was awesome. Obviously that's kind of the pinnacle of the NTDP there. So being able to do that to some of my best friends it was one of the best moments of my life. What was the biggest takeaway from winning gold across the country with a, a bunch of your teammates? Yeah, I mean I kind of had a couple experiences prior where we lost. So it was kind of seeing the highs and lows, be able to kind of bounce back and win a gold medal just it meant the world to me. Being on a stage like that, what, what, did it intimidate you or how did you handle the, those emotions of where you were at? Yeah, no, I felt ready for it. I think that's a big thing, just making sure I was prepared and ready for those moments and obviously it's kind of the way it ended, can I run any better. A couple months later, you get drafted by your hometown Red Wings. We haven't had any movement at this point. Tender, Trey, I think there's Augustine. too many names available on their on their list, guys. I think they just keep rolling it out. So they just Red went the, the goalie, Trey, Trey Augustine. Augustine class. So they went to the Augustine USA, right into their uh, backyard there at the National U.S. National, National Team Development Program. Program. Really athletic. Obviously, it was super cool. I mean, I saw they had a couple picks lined up, so I thought maybe there was a chance. And then when I hear my name on the screen, it's just super special. And, even the next couple of weeks being to meet all the guys I grew up watching play, Joe Lucerie and stuff. Just kind of a full circle moment. Hey, they got a timeline in this kid. He's going to Michigan State. Goalies uh, traditionally at least three years of college. And then, of course, they usually don't hit till their second contract cycle. Like their entry level deal, it takes time for these guys. So this is a long play. Were you intimidated at all meeting Steve Eiserman? Uh, no, not really. I met with him before the draft, so I was pretty familiar with him. What did you like the most about the Red Wings organization when you actually met them? Obviously, you grew up a fan, but when you actually got to know the inside people, what was sort of the biggest takeaway? Yeah, I think the big thing is still high quality people. At the end of the day, you can want to be the best person you can be, so that meant a lot to me knowing that was going to be in the best interest for them. What was being with the Red Wings in the development program like for you, getting to learn from professionals at that time? Just kind of walking around the rink and seeing like Nick Lidstrom, Nick Cronwell, and the guys you grew up watching. Just super special and just trying to learn everything you can from the guys that have knowledge like that. Did you go to a lot of Red Wing games growing up at the Joe? Yeah, I did. Me and my dad used to go all the time. We used to have like our spot we had dinner with and then like take a shuttle down to the rink. So those are some of my first hockey memories. Coming to Michigan State, obviously you have ties with Adam Nightingale. How big did that come into the, your decision to commit here? Yeah, it was a huge part. I'm obviously super comfortable with him and his coaching style, so kind of felt like the adjustment would be pretty easy and pretty smooth here. As a freshman, you just come into a major college with a team that has a lot of hype right now, the number nine team in the country. How have you handled that as a freshman? Yeah, I think just the whole team's mentality is trying to block out all the extra noise around us. Obviously, we do have some hype this year, just trying to every day just come to the rink and stay focused on what's actually on at hand. When did you start get into hockey and when did you realize that was a sport that you were pretty good at? <laughs> yeah, when I was seven or eight, my dad used to play, so he kind of had me start and get skated and then I just kind of fell in love with it. And then even like my very first team, we always needed goalies to play and I would just kind of volunteer and raise my hand and just kind of fell in love with the position and just kind of, that's where I'm at today. Yeah, what do you think fans would be most impressed about with your game? Obviously, maybe people think you're a freshman, they're not sure what to expect. What do you think you can do to really impress some fans here? I think competitiveness is a huge one. Just being able to show them that I really want to win is a huge part of it. And if you want to feel old, Augustine said he doesn't have a memory of the Red Wings winning the Stanley Cup in 2008. All right, well, we need to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to be sitting down with the one lucky enough to don the C on his sweater this year, the Spartans captain. We'll see you in just a bit. This segment is sponsored by MSU Healthcare. 